Good day students, I'm Laura Lee Cairns and today I'm going to take you through the colligative properties experiment. We're going to start off by weighing our different masses of sucrose, sodium chloride, magnesium chloride and glycerol and thereafter I'm going to show you the freezing of one of our test tubes so that you can do your report sheet. We're going to start the experiment by weighing out sucrose. So now that we've weighed out the sucrose, we can add 25 milliliters of distilled water into our beaker of sucrose. So now that we've weighed sucrose, our next one will be sodium chloride. So we're going to repeat the same procedure with the distilled water by adding 25 milliliters. Next, we're going to do the magnesium chloride. Now we are going to weigh our glycerol. With glycerol, you need to be careful as it's a liquid, so you can't just add enough and then pour it back into the bottle that it came from. You need to be especially careful adding the glycerol. Now that we've prepared our solutions, we can prepare an ice bath. We're going to use ice and fill it up with about a centimeter of impure salt. So you'll notice we've used a very high grade of salt with preparing our solutions and by adding salt to the ice bath we're going to use impure salt, so salt that you can just buy at any pick and pay store. So you can already see that the ice is colder at the top than at the bottom because it's frozen solid instead of in ice chips. So now that we've added our salt to the ice, you can see that the temperature has dropped even below minus 10, which is perfect for our experiment. So now we're going to add about two centimeters cube of our magnesium chloride solution and then we're going to place it in the ice bath. So we're adding the test tube in the, the clamp so that we can have it hovering above the floor. Since our ice bath is at minus 10 degrees, anywhere that the test tube touches um, the bench or air, it's going to heat up and not be cooled down. We are going to start taking measurements now. We are going to do them in 10 second intervals and see how the temperature drops. Once the temperature is stable for, five, for three consecutive measurements, we are going to start taking them in 30 second intervals. Once the temperature starts to drop again, then we'll move over to five, 10 second intervals and then that's the end. Now that the experiment is complete, here are the results. Now that you have the measurements of the magnesium chloride solution, you can use this data to plot a graph to determine the change in temperature from pure water and thereafter you can fill in your report sheet. You'll see in the report sheet that the additional graphs are given to you as they're not provided in this video. So now that you have the data for the freezing of sucrose in water, 
you can plot a graph of it and you'll see in your report sheet there are several other graphs which I did not do in this experiment today but you can follow the same data that is given to you and then you can fill in your report sheet accordingly. So you can do the experiment where you freeze water with food colouring at home and if you look at it every 30 minutes or so you'll see that water starts to freeze on the outsides and this water will be clear but the solution on the inside becomes more and more saturated with colour. This is also a colligative properties experiment and especially one that you can do at home without any fancy chemistry equipment. I hope you learned something today and good luck with the report.